all right guys and gals we're here lake new hogan never been here before first time here so i just looked at it on uh, google earth for less than five minutes got a couple spots i'm gonna run to beautiful sun rise make sure to smash that subscribe and like thanks for watching common sense fishing we'll take you along for the ride show you how we catch them what we catch them on and uh it's a bit maybe a little bit of spawn still but we're mostly getting into post spawn so stay tuned and we'll catch you guys out on the water all right folks so we're going to our first quick little spot to check in and here's my rule of thumb if you've never been to a lake before two places that i would guarantee to try first they'll almost always at least have some fish for confidence building and one would be at the dam the outlet of the lake and the other would be upriver, the inlet of the lake. Usually upriver is a really good place to go, but since the launch is right across here, we're gonna go to the dam. We're gonna check in from the transition from the dam down to where it looks like there's a nice little spawning bay. And then there's some main rock, uh, main lake point with some big chunk rock, stuff like that. So we'll show you guys what I mean here. So right up ahead, is a main lake point and then inside to the left it looks like there'd be a nice spawning bay here and this is what we're looking at on our map so this is uh the dam we're gonna fish this first for a few minutes and uh you know a little bit longer see if we can pick up a couple of fish for some confidence for the show and then we're gonna go head up river spot uh hunting and see if we can catch something nice so stay tuned smash that subscribe and like and thanks for watching common sense fishing Not one. Fighting good. It's not a big one. But hey, she's fighting. First bass out of New Hogan, not long. And on a square bill. Cranking. Covering water right here. Nice. She hit it hard. Fun way to fish, folks. You don't always have to bottom bounce and dink around. So let's get this uh, nice little spotted bass. Let's get him off the hook here. Square bill crankbait. All right, folks, we're going to give you guys some crankbait tips today. So smash that subscribe and like. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. All right, folks, some crankbait tips. First of all, usually you're going to be using a medium action. In some instances, maybe even a medium light and uh, or even a medium heavy, depending on if you're deep cranking, cranking big baits, little baits, you know, what you're throwing. So what I'm using is a G Loomis EX6 glass clank, uh, cranking rod with a Abu Garcia Revo Beast here. What we're throwing is a river to sea Biggie Papa, actually the smalls, uh, the smaller crankbait in a Delta Craw color. I'm using 10 pound fluoro. And the reason I use fluoro over mono is I have a medium action rod that's really sensitive, takes a lot of the load off of the line, and uh, it also helps dig those hooks in really good. And I don't need to set the hook really hard, so then I don't have to worry about snapping. I just do a nice sweeping hook set. And the positives are it helps get the crankbait down just a little bit deeper and i think it runs a little better and also it's more invisible underwater so it's just that much more stealth just that much more better in my opinion and uh, you just have to use either the drag on your spinning reel or your thumb control and spool it on your uh, bait caster or set your drag on your bait caster but anyways what we're doing is we're getting right up close to shore and we're parallel fishing i'm going to show you what that looks like we're cranking at a moderate speed adding some occasional bursts of speed in so crankbaiting is not really a hard thing to do just the one big tip i could give you guys would be get your boat parallel get yourself parallel and fish along the shoreline do not fish at it we're going to show you what i mean by that right now all right ladies and gentlemen one of the biggest tips i can give you guys crankbait fishing is do not oh that was horrible cast do not cast at the shore like this 
and bring it out of course you can catch fish doing that and of course it'll work too so you'll get the occasional bass to hit like that you can cast like that at a 45 even I don't recommend doing this so fishing like this is not conductive to crankbait fishing if you want to crankbait fish and have a higher chance of uh, catching bass then what I recommend you do is check this out instead of casting out the shore in any kind of angle get right up in the strike zone that you think they're gonna be in and cast along the shore and I'll show you and what I mean by that is like this and <clears throat> dig that crankbait into the rocks into any kind of structure down there and fish it shallow and even if you're not going to fish it shallow the point is fish it parallel just like this that wasn't the most perfect approach but the idea is you want to be parallel with the shoreline see parallel biggest tip i can give you guys crankbait fishing is is uh fish it like this if you do that you're a lot more likely to get a fish and so we're also going to show you guys what i mean by at a moderate rate with a occasional jerk So we're going to show you guys what I mean by the crankbait retrieve. So one is fishing parallel. Super important, right? So we're going to fish parallel like this. Not at the bank, along the bank. Then we're going to reel it with our rod pointed down and at the lure pretty much. And every once in a while, we're going to give it a little extra speed. And another little tip you can do is you can variate your speeds between fast, slow, whatever, but you can also pulse your tip. Kind of like a jerk bait. Had one follow it right there. Just seen it. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So you can actually go real slow. And jerk your rod like that just hope you don't get bit when you do that <laughs> easy way to snap off if you're too uh too vicious with your little jerk there but it works Let's see if we can go get some more now all right we're gonna cover some water then after a while we'll put this down and uh, we'll go find some other places to fish. But hey, we got a fish in the boat. Skunk is out of the boat. Mission is a success already. So let's have a good day, hopefully, huh? <laughs> not the fish we want. These are not the droids we're after. But hey, fish number two on a crankbait. Fishing parallel, just covering water. See if we can find the big ones. This is like... The size of the bait but hey look right in the mouth she tried to eat it aggressive little boogers oh just lost another one all right Ooh. come on buddy yeah, came off. <laughs> Looks like he has someone's line in his mouth. He's broke someone off. So let's help him out and see if we can find what the heck. Oh, okay, no. Just brought some line in with him. Another little spotted bass. We're crankbaiting out here, parallel, casting across these main lake points. And we're getting smashed. I've lost one, missed a few. So let's get some more. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing out here, Lake New Hogan, covering water on crankbaits. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a limit like this out here at uh, Lake New Hogan, probably eight, nine pounds for our five fish. So thanks for watching. We'll show you them all. We're going to take some pictures, let them go, and uh, catch you guys on the next adventure. Not bad for my first time out here. Got to love fishing. Beats a day at the office, or as I say, a day on the roof or in the attic since I do heating and air conditioning. But anyways, back to, back to the fish. All right, catching a bunch of fish like this all day. So thanks for watching. All right, folks, that concludes today's crankbait video. We're out here at Lake New Hogan throwing some crankbaits, jerkbaits, stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy the little video on some crankbait tips and uh, watch me catch a few on them. Wish we could have got some bigger ones, but thank you very much. Smash that subscribe and like, and thank you for watching.